This is a device that we're going to use to uh, train the core. Basically, any functional exercise program, we want to make sure that, that we start with the core. It's kind of like building a house. You'd start with the foundation. We're going to start with the core. We're going to do that by targeting the abdominal muscles, specifically the transverse abdominus muscles. Okay? Then we're going to work our way into the shoulder blade area. But as far as this goes, we're going to use a little bit of biofeedback with this simple um, pump device here. The idea is when, when you ask most people to contract their abs, you know, they'll tighten up like this as if somebody was going to punch them in the stomach. And that's a good way to protect your internal organs against an uppercut or something. Uh, it's not how we protect our low back. Okay, that's a very compressive type of force and it, it does not protect the low back like the transverse abdominus muscles do. The transverse abdominus muscles uh, elongate the spine and those are the ones that you use when you draw your abs in. That's just kind of a general way of thinking about it. So we're gonna work on drawing our abs in and then stabilizing our spine. And we're gonna stabilize our spine in a neutral posture. If a person has pain when they go back like this because of some joint irritation, we may bias them into more flexion um, and vice versa, but, but uh, to start with, we just learn neutral. And to do that, we're going to be putting this at the lumbar spine region, which is right here, the curve in the spine. Okay, we're going to have you lay down on that like this with the knees bent and now we're going to pump this up so we might want to get this um, kind of in view here so we're going to pump this up and now as I'm pumping this I could feel that go into my spine a little bit and I'm going to pump that just so that it's below 40 and then we're going to draw the abs in and try to flatten the back until that needle goes to 40. So we don't start with it at 40, we start a few lines before 40. We find 40, okay, and then once we've found 40, then we try to keep that at the 40 position while we're moving the arms or legs. So from here I've got it at 40, I can see it, it's at, it's at 40, and I'm going to straighten out my leg. It wants to drop, I have to fight that tendency. I'm going to bring my leg back, okay, and then I'm going to put the other side out. And right now I'm just staying slightly above 40. If the mo needle moves, you want it to move up, not down. But preferably, we're trying to teach neutral spine here, so we want to keep the needle as steady as possible, but we definitely do not want it to drop below 40. 40 is a little bit of an arbitrary number. It really doesn't matter where you, you start. Sometimes I'll start at, at 70 if a person has more difficulty. But this is just training how to recruit the cores. We're using a little bit of biofeedback because you have the visual um, cortex involved here. You can also put your hand on your stomach in order to see if your stomach is raising. A lot of people are going to do this and that makes the number, the dial go way up, but it's not using the correct muscle. So abs have to be in, then you stabilize, and then you extend. So that's just a simple way to make sure that we're using the right muscle. And then we're going to apply that to the standing up position in a few minutes. But that's just a, a good basic way to, to train the core.